Nothing like starting off the morning with a nice vegetable shake, carrots, bananas, and some almond milk. Mmm. Splendid. I've also got some water here. Super refreshing. So thankful just to be able to drink water. <laughs> if you're serious about your results, one piece of equipment that you should own is measuring tape. Helps you track your measurements, your body part measurements. So for example, if you wanna bring your calves up, you can measure your calves now, then you can start your calf training, make sure you're in a caloric surplus, and you can measure your calves 12 weeks later, and you can see if you've actually added some size to your calves. If you haven't, then you may have to switch something up. So I really like measurement tape because it helps you figure out what's working and what's not after a certain period of time. As long as you've kept your exercise selection the same, you haven't switched things up too much. Measuring tape is very good. At, also good if you're losing weight. Measure your waist once a week. Once a week. The scale can lie sometimes. You can gain mass. You can lose fat. You can have a, you can be holding water weight. You could have lost water weight. You know, the scale can lie, but measurements, numbers with the measurements are pretty, pretty, pretty accurate. I like this a lot. So definitely purchase one of these. It's very cheap. I got this for like two bucks at a family dollar. And it's worth it. It's worth it big time. You cannot manage what you don't measure. I want to bring my calves up a bit, so I got to measure it so I know my starting point. As you can see, I have really long tendon insertions, man. That's what makes people have genetically small calves and genetically large calves. My calves are genetically small because my tendon insertion is so long. And this is good for uh, sprinters, but not so good if you want to build some huge calves, man. You can see my muscle belts are really short, and all of this is tendon. Tendon, tendon, tendon. Whereas some people, their muscle buttons are much larger because they have less tendon. The less tendon you have, the larger the muscle belly. The more tendon you have, the smaller the muscle belly. I have all this tendon here, that's why I have such small muscle bellies. But that's not going to be an excuse to not try to gain some mass in this area here. So I'm going to start off by measuring. Measuring the calves. About 13 and a quarter. Here's the right calf. About 13 and almost a half. I'll say about 13 and four tenths. So that's 13 and two fifths. All right. 13 and two fifths inches. 5 a.m. in New York City. It's brutally cold, but there are no excuses. <laughs> It's time to train, baby. Progression is incessant. And you have to be unwavering and steadfast about your desire to chase progression. Squats are difficult enough, but to do them in the 40 degree, freezing, brutally cold NYC weather is a whole nother level of insanity. But there's no excuses. I did what I had to do and I got the job done. In order to attain any sort of result, you must put time and effort into the situation. Here I'm putting time and effort in. I hope you guys are doing the same. No, it isn't easy. 
If it was easy, everyone would have the results. But hey, you want to be different, you want to stand out. The reason why you're watching this video is because you're about results. So am I. Why procrastinate when you can go chase them? I was going to cut this clip out, but I decided to keep it in there and share it with you guys. Why not? As you can see, I'm doing this little wiggle maneuver. And basically, I'm trying to get my upper back dug into the bench so that I can activate the upper back and a little bit of the upper lats because those are stabilizer muscles in this movement. And stabilizer muscles are going to help me stabilize my body on that bench because I'm trying to focus on pressing and not on uh, moving all over the place. I don't want to fall over. I want to have a nice stable ground base so that I can focus on pushing out these repetitions. Tell me what an excuse is. Please, what is an excuse? I don't know what that is, man. I don't know. Bench press. Did three sets of five. Got two more sets to go. I'm gonna fucking smash it. That's it. Positive affirmations. I'm gonna smash it. Let's get it. So I did dumbbells for about three weeks. I'm back on barbells. I just have a love thing for barbells, man. I guess it's because I started off with barbells. I just love barbells. It was good to uh, take a break from barbells and do dumbbells for a few weeks, but the barbell bench press, man, I just love the feeling. I love it. I can't wait to have two plates on there. I'm chasing two plates. Chasing two plates. 195 for five. Set number five. Let's get it. It's either I thrive and survive or I meet my demise. Let's go. Easy five, baby, easy five. Get set up nice and tight. Lower back arch, upper back into the bench. Glutes on the bench. Keep your glutes on the bench all the time, guys. You don't want to take your glutes off the bench. That's how you put sheer stress on your spine. Glutes on the bench, upper back on the bench. Stabilize that weight. Ready, let's go. Aye. One. Two, three, four. Ah! Woo! Five reps, baby. Getting closer and closer to two plates. 20 pounds to go. Let's get it, I'm hyped. It's not about where you begin, it's about where you're headed. 185, but I want more. I know in order to get more, I gotta put the work in today. I gotta put the work in now. All right, put the effort in today, reap the benefits tomorrow. Let's get it. It's 185, going for five to five. should not be concerned with is if your muscles are lagging or not as a beginner your whole body is lagging everything is a weak point you need to bring everything up and that's why you need to focus on the basic compound movements because they're designed to utilize multiple muscle groups at once so you're being efficient with your time and you're targeting many muscle groups so that you can bring everything up as quickly as possible stick with the simple stuff man don't make this more complicated than it needs to be once you become a true intermediate and an advanced athlete, then you can be concerned about the small, meticulous, fine tuning and detailing. For now, keep it simple, guys. Don't stress yourself over this, man. Working out is hard enough. Don't sweat the small stuff. Do not sweat the small stuff. You'll hurt your brain and you'll become frustrated doing so. Okay? Stick with the basics for now, guys. I like to bend down a bit and then come up and shrug 
That's because I feel like I get a better stretch in my traps. I feel like I don't get that great of a stretch in my traps when my arms are just naturally hanging down. But when I come down and I bend my back a bit, and then I come back up, I feel like I get a greater stretch and a greater contraction. Just personal preference, guys. Sometimes you gotta play with the exercise form slightly a bit. Let's see where you can maximize that contraction. When you work, your mind, you start expand. Going for eight reps, guys. Eight reps. Let's get it. Eight repetitions. No less. No less than eight. Got it though. Tricep extensions. To finish off the workout, did face pulls, hyperextension, side laterals, and some standing cable crunches. These are all relatively simple exercises that you can finish in a few minutes. You can actually superset them to get more work done in a short amount of time. And that was it. That was a whole workout. Workout A, back on ICF, ready to take this strength through the roof. Uh, no time for program hopping. Stick with it and get these results. Ride on. Here's the post-workout meal. Two veggie sausages, two servings of plain oats, add a little bit of splinter for flavor, a little bit of almond milk as well, and one banana in here. And that's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the workout. That's it. Simple meal, simple program. Gonna keep hitting it. Gonna keep uh, exhausting linear progression as much as I could. If I stall, I'll reset by 10%, working my way back up, unless I stall for about three to four times in a row. But for the most part, I'm bulking, and where I'm at currently, I doubt it's gonna happen anytime soon. So I'm gonna keep getting stronger and keep making these gains. Hope you guys are doing the same. I always say that, but um, yeah. Um, I'm gonna send you guys on your way, man. I'm pretty sure you're tired of watching me. It's your boy Jay Living Fit. Let me know what you thought about the video. Comment down below. Give me a thumbs up, and I'm out of here. Peace. One more thing. Shout out to Otso Sunvik from Finland. He hit me up on Snapchat. He said, hey, I'm a big fan of yours. I'm a subscriber, and I'd like a shout out. So here it is, buddy. Shout out to you, Otso Sunvik from Finland. Okay, I'm out. <laughs>